Today, I'm going to show you how I turn your Altoids tin into a dice box. So, first things first, grab your Altoids tin, eat all the mints, rinse it out, dump all your dice in there, and you're ready to go. Okay, well, let's make it a little better. We're going to need an Altoids box, uh, some belt, as well as some E6000. To get started, we just need to cut out a top and a bottom for the... Altoids tin so that our dice aren't clanking against the metal all the time. So I just set the tin on the belt, trace around it with a sharpie, and then just go ahead and cut it out. Next, we want to make sure that the felt is going to fit well into the bottom of the tin. So I just placed the piece of felt into the tin and then pressed it down and looked for any places where the felt was pressing really hard against the outside of the tin and then just trimmed off those spots. That way we get a really nice smooth finish with the felt on the bottom. Now with that fixed, let's go ahead and make a second one. There we go. And that's one for the top and one for the bottom. To protect the edges, uh, I just used a ruler to measure the depth of the box with the felt in it um, to make sure that I would get a correct height. Let's go ahead and cut that off. Mine needed to be about 17 or 18 millimeters high and that fit into the box pretty well. So we have our three pieces and our tin and now we can go ahead and just glue everything together. E6000 is definitely overkill for this application. I just don't ever want to have to worry about anything coming off later. Uh, for the glue, I just trace around the bottom and then press everything in. And because it's just felt and it's E6000 and it's not at a weird angle, you can just kind of press it in and it'll stay there. Give that top and bottom a few minutes to dry and then we can do the sides. For the sides, uh, you just make sure to not get any glue on the felt you already have. And then when it comes to the hinges, try and just go around them a little bit. That way you don't accidentally glue your box open or shut if you close it to let it dry. And to do the edging, I started in the front. That way when you open the box, you won't see the seam. It'll be on the side that's closest to you and kind of tucked under the, the little curled edge on the tin. And then I left this piece way longer than I needed so that I could just trim it off once I got back around. I let this dry for about 30 minutes, but technically you should let it dry for three days. But now you can drop all your dice in and you are good to go. Thanks for watching.